This is a photo of a meeting in August 1915 when Colorado Springs was selected as the headquarters of Colorado's branch of a political organization known first as the Congressional Union for Woman Suffrage. It was organized in 1913. In 1916, it became the National Woman's Party. The only purpose of the woman's organizations was to mobilize women to work together to win a federal constitutional amendment guaranteeing American females the right to vote. To women with aspirations of political equality, the state of Colorado had great symbolic significance. In 1893, Colorado had been the first state in which males voted yes to a constitutional amendment to grant women voting rights. In 1913, with the founding of the Congressional Union, women could vote in only nine sparsely populated western states. This spurred females to push for a national woman suffrage amendment. Each of the ladies in the photograph played a significant role in achieving American woman's political equality. On the front passenger seat is Ella St. Clair Thompson of North Carolina. Mrs. Thompson was a paid organizer for the Woman's Party who came to Denver, Colorado in 1914 to establish the Colorado branch of the Congressional Union. By the summer of 1915, the party's leadership, headed by radical feminist Alice Paul in Washington, D.C., moved the state's headquarters to Colorado Springs. The other three women, all of Colorado Springs, are in the driver's seat Lillian Hart Kerr, behind Lillian is Bertha Fowler, to Bertha's right is Dr. Caroline Spencer. Lillian was a lifelong advocate for women's equality. She was vice president of the Colorado Women's Party. She later traveled to Wyoming, Oklahoma, and New Mexico, where she organized those states' chapters of the Women's Party. Bertha Fowler, a wealthy English immigrant, had been associated with the radical British women's rights movement before settling in America. She was the chairman of the Colorado Branch Women's Party. Dr. Caroline Spencer was the state secretary of the Women's Party and its primary organizer. During 1917 and 1919, Dr. Spencer was arrested three times and served two jail sentences for joining protest and marches for women's equality outside of the White House in Washington, D.C. After successfully winning the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution in 1920 that granted women the right to vote, Lillian Kerr, Bertha Fowler, and Dr. Caroline Spencer devoted the rest of their lives to achieving a woman's equal rights amendment known as the ERA. The location of the photograph is directly across the street from the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum on the west side of South Tejon Street in Colorado Springs.